Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Bright suns, everybody. Bright suns. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't say that. Bright suns, everybody. Guess what? What we're going to be doing today in Peter and Kitra's quarantine kitchen. Is this quarantine kitchen or is this Peter's pandemic bar? Oh, oh, I like that. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. We are gonna be attempting to make blue milk mm -hmm. from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Come with us on this adventure. When I saw Star Wars as a little kid, I was curious, what does that blue milk taste like? And once we got to try it in Galaxy's Edge, I don't know if that's what I was quite expecting the flavors to be like. I was definitely not expecting blue milk to taste like that. And actually when I first tried it, I was kind of disappointed. I thought it wasn't that great. But after many trips to Batu, it really grew on me. Yeah, he's like addicted now. It's come to a point that like every time we go, he has to get a glass. I'm not quite on that same level, although I am like really craving it in this moment. And I'm hoping that we could recreate something that tastes similar. <laughs> and like many other things, the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge cookbook does not have an accurate recipe for blue milk. It has something called Bantha Chai. This, this whole cookbook is kind of disappointing. And we went to the internet to see if we could find a recipe. Once again, where I thought there would be a plethora of blue milk recipes to mimic the one in Galaxy's Edge, there wasn't. So we actually found a bunch of different things and kind of just picked one at random and hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> a lot of the recipes we found on the internet were from people who had never even tried blue milk or were just trying to replicate it based on the flavors that people were describing. Yeah, I found some recipes that were even just like, take blue Kool-Aid and put ice cubes in it, which actually sounds pretty delicious, but I don't think that's what blue milk tastes like. We found one this week from WDWNT, and this one at least seems a little bit more accurate, so we're gonna be basing our recipe off of their recipe. Here is everything that you're gonna need to make blue milk at home. You're gonna need one cup of rice milk, two cups of pineapple slices, one cup of unsweetened coconut milk, nine drops of blue food coloring, one cup of watermelon pieces, and then you're also gonna need some dragon fruit. The recipe calls for dragon fruit flavored drops, but we actually found this frozen dragon fruit in the freezer aisle at our local grocery store, so we're just gonna see what we can do with that. Also, it should be noted that you are gonna need a handy dandy blender. So we're gonna first start off with the rice milk. We're gonna need one cup. Next up, we're gonna have two cups of pineapple. It recommended Dole, but we just got some generic brand. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so that's like a cup and a half, maybe. Actually, I think this is probably gonna be two cups in one can. Measure everything up perfectly. Next up, we're going to need one cup of this unsweetened coconut milk. The next step is we're going to add one cup of watermelon chunks. Don't judge us, but we actually didn't buy a full watermelon. We just got this packaged kind. So I'm hoping if we mess up, we have enough to like try again. Does that look about like one cup's worth? If we have enough ingredients to make this twice, we should make a version with alcohol. Cause I just remembered we have some rum in the fridge. Yes. I don't know how much to put of these in here. Cause also they're like a deep purple color and I don't want to like turn the drink purple cause it's supposed to be blue. I don't know. I also don't think I've ever had dragon fruit before. Does that look like enough? 
mixer. Now this recipe doesn't say to add any ice, but I really prefer the frozen blue milk to the blue milk you can buy at Oga's Cantina. So we're gonna add some ice to this and hopefully that doesn't mess this recipe up. Not too long ago in one of our unboxing videos, one of you guys actually sent in this Han Solo and Carbonite ice cube tray and I had put water in it a long time ago and I've never used it and it looks like it like evaporated. I was all excited to like pull these out and use them. I should have planned ahead better, what the heck. Peter, since this is your genius idea, how many cubes? Just get like a handful. Just get a handful? Is that a big More. One? Peter. Okay, that's all it's getting. This is the hard part. It says in the recipe, nine drops of food coloring, but since we added this dragon fruit, I'm not sure how many drops we're actually gonna have to put in. This is exact science. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Nothing more exciting than that on all of YouTube. Here we go. You gotta turn the power on first. This does not look anything like the blue milk. So blue. I think it's because of that dragon fruit. I don't know, the smell doesn't smell like blue milk either. Oh no. <laughs> this is an epic fail. We don't know it's an epic fail yet. <laughs> what oh is that? Oh my gosh. It smells like pineapple juice. <laughs> like that's all it smells like. Uh, I don't know if this is a fail or not. I mean, I'm sure it'll taste good. It tastes like a really good blue pineapple slushy. <laughs> Doesn't taste like blue milk? Maybe like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. The thing that's throwing me off also is this very dark blue color that could be because we added those like pink dragon fruits, I'm guessing. So it made it a more intense blue. Is this their first big fail in Pete's pandemic? I mean, Kitra's quarantine hey, kitchen. No, this is definitely Peter's pandemic bar or whatever you said. Don't blame this on me. <laughs> okay, here we go. You know, you go to like a buffet breakfast and they have like oh. different kind of fruit punches. I feel okay. like this tastes like a weird fruit punch that you find at like Animal Kingdom Lodge and there's the, the buffet breakfast and you're like, what is this juice? And you taste it. That's what, this, that's what it tastes like. We got to find the recipe for blue milk. I want blue milk at home. How hard can it be to make blue milk at home? Apparently pretty hard. It's funny, the list of ingredients that make up blue milk have been leaked by a cast member. There's actually a bag showing the ingredients, but it's all these like chemicals and stuff. It's like a pre-mixed bag. We need to find a good copycat recipe for Disney's blue milk. If anybody has any leads to that, leave it in the comments below. It's funny when I'm drinking blue milk, it's not like I'm thinking pineapple. But like, what would you describe blue milk? I, I think it tastes like I feel like it tastes like bubble gum. Yeah, but I can tell you, it definitely doesn't taste like this. I've got the perfect solution. Captain Morgan's white rum. This will fix this. When life hands you lemons, you make blue milk. No, when life hands you pineapples and passion yeah. fruit. When life hands you milk. pineapples, passion fruit, blue milk, watermelon, rice milk, and coconut milk, you make the best of it. Cheers. Ooh, yeah, this is delicious. <laughs> they have rum in blue milk in Florida, at Disney World. They have a version of blue milk that has added rum to it. We tried that, so we'll put a link to that above. Most of the footage that we film gets released as a video in some way, but it just occurred to me that there was a piece of footage that we recorded on the opening weekend 
of Galaxy's Edge where we were taste testing blue milk and green milk. And I don't think we ever released that. I think that is probably the only bit of footage that exists in the Ordinary Adventure Vault. Two things about this footage. Number one, this existed before I fell in love with blue milk. So I think if I remember correctly, I probably disliked it a, a bit more than I do now. I, I have grown to love the blue milk. And number two, I believe the president of Disneyland, who is now the president of Disney World, Josh Diamaro, actually interrupted us as we were taping this thing. If we can find that footage, we're gonna put it in right here. You gotta let it What do you think? I like it better than the green. What does it taste like? Um, <laughs> it's, it's like fruity berries. Fruity berries? Yeah. Weird consistency. <laughs> You'd get it again? I mean, maybe on a fun occasion, but it's $8. I don't know. <laughs> this is like share. <laughs> oh no. Tastes tropical. That is a very distinctive. I can't. I can't put yeah. my finger on what it actually tastes like. Yeah. It tastes familiar though. Yeah. Okay. So we've seen this scene a million times. You're hot in the desert. You've been farming moisture. <laughs> I've waited a very long time to taste blue milk. This is not bad. Okay, there's an aftertaste. There's an aftertaste. It doesn't taste like milk that's blue. But if I was in the desert all day long, and it was like dinner time, and I was like, you know, I might need refreshments. There's one in this might be the go-to. It's good. It's good? It's light. Like, it's not too sweet. It's 18 minutes. It would be good on a really hot day. It tastes like watermelon bubble gum. It does taste like watermelon, yeah. What? It's way thicker than you think. Yeah. I'm gonna try that because I, I had a berry taste to it. Very much like watermelon It does have a watermelon taste to it, but not bubble gum. I guess a little bit of bubble gum. There's a specific bubble gum I know that tastes exactly You know what? This tastes better than when I had it the first time. <laughs> it's still not something I would buy for eight bucks. Like, this is a small cup. I, I, you can't tell. But it's really thick, though. It is very. You don't want any more than that. It's like an yeah. In-N-Out milkshake. I, I think I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably do it. Milky. <laughs> Wait, so does it. What, what, do, you, do you like it? Pretty good. That's your honest opinion? It's no butter beer. See, that's the problem, is that I don't think it compares to butter beer. Like, this is supposed to be the butter beer of this land, and I feel like it's not quite there. But he got a butter beer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I like the blue better. I don't know. Yeah, mix them together. Go <laughs> oh, oh, can you do that? You can do that. You can do that. <laughs> you were just told that you should mix the two. You should put a little bit of the green in your mouth and then a little bit of the blue in your mouth. Swish it around. You might be the first person to ever do this. I think it cancels each other out. I don't taste anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Alright, do that. Yeah. Here's where we need Lauren's straw. Yeah, <laughs> see my straw finally came in handy. Are we making our own blue milk? What, what, what color? <laughs> Green. Yeah. Green blue milk? Teal milk! Blue and Teal yellow. That's, that, that's more green that's than the like green milk. milk. Man, that does not look appetizing. Nah. <laughs> that looks oh, good! Oh. See, now it's actually green. Yeah. Does it taste like nothing? It cancels each other out! <laughs> so weird, right? Oh my god, I'm not kidding, Tim. You're right. It cancels each other out now. It's like super bland. Yeah. So there you have it. It seems like 
opinion to split on what's better, the blue or the green. It doesn't seem like any one of us says that we're necessarily gonna buy it again, but so, I don't know. So just for reference, this is inside the Galaxy's Edge cookbook and this is that Bantha Chai. Look at this beautiful blue. This is what it should look like. This is what the one in the park looks like. And I was looking to see what kind of food dye they used because, you know, I thought maybe that was the reason that I think it is. This says that they use a blue butterfly pea tea bag. What is that? What? Even if we made this recipe, where do we get a blue butterfly blue pea tea bag? The heck is that, Disney? The next day. I was tossing and turning all night, trying to rack my brain and figure out how I could get this milk to look a normal color. I had the brilliant idea to mix some more of that coconut milk in with the blue mixture that's been sitting in the fridge overnight. Let's see how this turns out. I mean, it's not bad now. It just kind of just tastes like a smoothie. I feel like if you add the, the co extra coconut milk, it'll look more like a blue milk, but it's not gonna taste any different. I think this looks a oh, heck of a lot better. This is what it originally looked like. And I feel like the consistency is better too. Well, Peter, how would you say that the first episode of Peter's Pandemic Bar went? Hey, that was just a joke. This is Kitra's quarantine kitchen. No, I think this is Peter's Pandemic Bar. I mean, I think it, Kind of was an epic fail, but I had it's fun. It's enjoyable, it's just not <laughs> blue milk. Yeah, I don't think we're ever gonna be able to recreate blue milk. I just don't think Disney's ever gonna give up their secret recipe, and we're just gonna have to keep trying until we find something similar. Hey, they have been releasing recipes. Like, they gave away the Dole Whip, they give away the churros. Yeah. So maybe during this pandemic, yeah, there's maybe. enough outpour of people wanting it, maybe they'll release it. Yeah. Hashtag release the blue milk. Yeah, hashtag we need the blue milk. I mean, this pineapple slush is pretty good, but it doesn't really quite compare. Our first cooking video you guys seem to really enjoy. So I think we can maybe make this a weekly feature. Tell us in the comments below what you'd like to see us cook or mix next. Yeah. What, what would you like to see us ruin next time? <laughs> if you didn't see our pilot episode of Kitra's Quarantine <laughs> Kitchen, We'll put that right to the side. Yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Cheers, everyone, and bright suns. Rising moon.